Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Tammy Osterk, the designer of badbobbin.com. And today I'm here to show you how to make this cute little pinwheel snap tab. There's different designs. There are five different designs and there's two ways that you can assemble them. You will need uh, the rivets and I will explain to you what size and everything, but these are the cute, the littlest things and telling you what type of vinyl you'll need to use and how to make this cute little pinwheel snap tab in four different designs. We have a four point. And this cute little one, almost like the traditional. And I was able to use two different colors in this mermaid. So the options that you can use and have and do are just your choice and your imagination. So the sky's the limit on anything, on how you want to make these. As long as they're done in the right vinyl and you've got the right tabs, and I'll show that to you as we go over to our cutting table and show you what you need. So here we are. This is what we're going to need to make our little pinwheel. There's four different designs like I showed you. And I've printed out um, just, just to get an idea of each design and how big it's going to be. And I wrote down my measurements of them. Today we're going to do this, uh, the 5.1. All the other ones, like I showed, are only a four point. And then there's the um, snap tab portion, which can be done three in a hoop. And there's also the pattern for just one in a hoop. So we're going to start with our four by four hoop, it can be done bigger in any bigger hoop or multiple at a time. Um, that's why there's the guideline for the outline of where to place your vinyl. So we need uh, four pieces of vinyl, two pieces that are going to be for our five point. Make sure we get that right. Some of them are a little bit bigger than the others. The five point is the biggest. That one takes up the whole uh, four by four hoop. So those pieces are gonna be four and a half by four and a half for uh, top and bottom. And then for our snap tab part, uh, this is going to be, what did I have these? I'm sorry, I didn't even write these down. I did, I put them on here. So these pieces you're gonna have, um, if you do three, obviously you need six of them, or if you do the single. And this is one and three quarters by three and three quarters. So one and three quarters, or sorry, one and three eighths by three and three quarters. So one and three eighths by three and three quarters for the snap tab part. All right, and for these, you need a really thin vinyl. So the thin uh, vinyl, the thinnest you can find. This is a canvas uh, type backing. So it's really thin. This is the glitter canvas. There's also the um, holographic, which has like a little felt backing and it's really thin as well. So you want the thin kind. Um, I did one with the uh, snake skin. There's also the geo, let's just see this. So the geo print has a really thin and it's got like a little bit of a flannel backing as well. There's also the um, glitter type, rainbow glitter one, flannel type canvas backing. So it's really thin. This is the best that you're gonna use. Regular marine type vinyl is not gonna work. Um, here's a marine, uh, mermaid type one, but it's gotta be really thin. So you want it, one of the really thin ones. A few of the designer designs, I just happened to get this um, scrap pack type thing. It was just a uh, variety. And it um, just happened to be like the designer pack. It was like one sheet of everything. It was just a, a, a scrap pack. And it happened to have really thin also vinyl in it as well. And I used um, that in one of them, this one here. So that happened to have that red type. And it's a little bit stiffer, but it, it worked pretty good. The rivets I found are from Tandy Leather. There's bronze and silver. And these ones are the large, they uh, double cap, large, and they also have an extra large, but the extra large when I did buy them were a little too long. So you want the large and they're 12 millimeters long. So um, if you measure from the tip to the cap, you're looking at 12 millimeters. 
So this is what you want. They want the longer ones, 12 millimeters, double cap. If you happen to buy the variety pack like this from Amazon, there's the ones that you should get are the three sizes. The largest size in that three pack of sizes will work. That's almost the 12, or it is the 12 millimeter. So if you happen to get a variety pack and you've got three sizes in it, the large will work. Um, then you've got your punch, or I mean your, uh, I use a leather punch for here to make all the holes. And I have my rivet setter here with my hammer and my set. I will show you two different ways to do it in case you don't have the long and you only have the two sizes. I did figure out a way that you can do it. Not sure if you would like that look, but the look is where you would just do your tab. I haven't put these together yet. If you do just your tab and then add this with these pieces, you can use the other two sizes of your rivets. So um, this would be this really small one here and then that medium one here if you don't have the long. So that's one idea. You'll need a set of uh, cam snaps for your uh, keychain part and you can do that you know the keychain a lobster claw or your ring that would work so we I think are all set four by four hoop you want the thinnest tear away possible I know there's two there's different uh, types of tear away there's a thicker like more like paper that one's going to be kind of tough and really thick for how small these are uh, this is a thin um, type tear away so this one I think I got from uh, Threadart.com, I think, was the one for this one. So with your vinyls, there's many places to purchase that vinyl as well. Um, some, uh, quite a few of these, I happen to purchase the um, the vinyls from My Punk Broidery. There's also Glitterbug Fairy, um, Micri World. So I buy from a variety of places. I don't buy from just one. I do buy from a lot. I'll have a list down below. I mean, there's Dazzle Town, TC Craft Lady sells them, um, embroidery bows, vinyls, and more. The vinyl, um, vinyl nest, I think, is one. New Moon uh, vinyl, I think they're called. So there's so many out there. You can go on Facebook and just, you know, put in their embroidery vinyl, and quite a few of the companies will come up. So they all have really good quality. Um, depending on you and your price and, and what you're looking for. You know, some have the glitter. This is a really, this video shows up great. Got a new camera, by the way. So everything's showing up great. Um, just, they're so, so pretty when these designs come out and how they sparkle and, and shine. So here's the different. So it'll be great to, to show you how. We're going to take you to the machine and they're very quick and easy to make. So. See you at the machine, and we will sew it out. Okay, we're at the machine now, and the first thing we're going to stitch out will be our snap tab part, and I've already got that in the machine, and I've done the single one, and what I've done is I've turned it in the machine, and I've also moved it up to the top of my hoop. That way, I'm going to have use for the rest of my stabilizer, and I'm not going to waste it. So the first thing I'm going to stitch out will be my placement line. All right, now I'm going to flip it over to the back side. I'm going to trim some of these threads. You don't want them sticking out. And I'm going to go ahead and tape my one piece on the back. And I'm going to, uh, you can also use your tacky spray. This time I'm just going to tape it. And make sure it's taped down good. Turn it over, it is centered. I'm gonna go ahead and take my second piece and we're gonna put that right on top as well and I'm going to tape it. Always have your tape ready on your machine. I'm gonna put it back in the hoop. I'm gonna lift up a little bit, make sure it doesn't get caught on the plate underneath again. And we're gonna stitch the final stitch. Perfect, we now have our snap tab ready to go. What I'm going to do is go ahead and take it out of the hoop and I'm going to re-hoop another sheet of stabilizer and I'll be right back. Okay, now I've put a brand new stabilizer in 
and we're going to, um, since it's already the four by four design, I don't need to run any type of um, placement line or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape my one piece to the back, or you can use the tacky spray. You wanna center it to the back and tape the corners. Flip that over, press down to make sure your tape is stuck there good. And we're gonna go ahead and place our other piece inside. And you've already cut the piece four and a half by four and a half, so we know it's automatically gonna fit right in that four by four. And this one also has a little flower that you can stitch out with it, or you don't have to, or you can stitch it and not use it. It's up to you. And just, just on the edge, we want to place the tape. All right, we're going to put it back in the machine. Lift up a little, make sure we don't get caught on the plate again. That would look good. And we'll go ahead and stitch out our final stitch. Okay, we've stitched out, we're all good. Make sure everything works on the back, perfect. And everything has worked on the front, perfect. And we're gonna head back to the cutting table and take it out, cut it, and show you different options on how to assemble it. See you at the cutting table. Okay, we're back at the cutting table and I'm going to remove out of the hoop, remove the stabilizer and trim and singe some of the threads and everything worked good. All right, so we've singed everything. These are all gonna be punched out anyways, so just in case, um, depending on the size of your punch, but we need to use the 1 8 punch for the rivets. So that part will probably be punched out once you start punching. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out now. Now on this one, when we cut it out, you're gonna cut all the way down in between these two. So you're gonna be really careful as you're doing it, making sure your blade is in between these two stitches. So as um, we cut along, we're gonna cut, and we're gonna cut straight down, and then we're gonna turn it, and then we're gonna cut right back up. And this one is when you wanna get close to your stitches, but not too close. Um, it's gonna be less than 1 8 of an inch getting close to it. Uh, I'm gonna cut the flower out. So um, I'll show you the best I can and um, seeing how close we can get. You don't want to cut the threads, very important. And this will be the side that's going to be seen. So
Okay. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and punch our holes. We're doing the one eighth in our hole punch, or you can use the punch that comes with that. It's right there. You'll use a block underneath. You would use a little piece of wood or a bunch of newspaper, um, the punch and the hammer. But I have my a leather punch. And we're punching these and the little flower and the little flower is optional. You don't have to have the flower, but I'm showing you everything that comes with it. And then you're going to punch these holes here. This is the only design that has the holes. The other designs do not have holes. So you'll be judging and keeping them close to the, when you punch them uh, to, to where they come around just before you actually hit the stitches on the other ones. Alrighty, and like I said, most of it's all the, our threads and stuff would be cut out anyways with our punch. So you want to just kind of clean those up too. If there's any bulk, you want to pull the threads out. That way we won't have too much bulk when we put our rivet through and it'll close up good. And I'm going to show you the two different ways that we can do this with the five point. The uh, four points you don't have to, or it wouldn't look good doing it the other way. So with the four points like this, you're going to put all of it through and sandwich it in with your rivet. And that's why you need the longs. Same thing with these, this one here, it's sandwiched through all the way with all of the pieces and that's a, with a long as well. And you can see the difference in the vinyl. This canvas uh, is really thin. This is two sheets versus our hollow. So you can see the difference there we go. See the difference in two sheets in the, uh, our glitter canvas versus our glitter uh, hollow. And the same thing with our mermaid. So just want to play with it and keep in mind the, the thinness that we need for our uh, vinyls for doing these projects, especially on, the, uh, on our five point. It takes up more because you're adding two more layers than you are with the four point. So um, it's going to turn in so that the good, good stitching side is going to be rolled in. So it's on the outside. And I kind of work my vinyl a little bit just to keep it, you know, I kind of to get it to curve a bit. So curving in, curving in, just to give it so it's not going to crease when I go to make those turns. So there you go, just a little warmth and, and just playing with it to kind of make them curve and be round. All right, so I do have another set as well, ready to go here. And I'm going to show you putting together all of it all at once. And I do recommend if you have the press, the table press, it would be so much better doing the rivets, especially these long ones with a table press. It's all at once, the pressure's there and you won't have any trouble with these bending. I've had a, um, a few that when I tried to do them with the hammer, they bent on me. So hopefully we have some good luck on that, on me showing you the differences of these. So you have your choice of, you can add your flower if you want. Since this is really thin vinyl, I'm gonna go ahead and add the flower. So I'm gonna start with the flower and my pe uh, the peg part is gonna go and start at the top of our pinwheel. And all I'm gonna do is just keep adding each petal into it and add that last petal here and you can see how thick it is and it's kind of tight so I have just enough hanging out there I'm going to push it through the middle and I, and I, I really want to squeeze this down so you have enough sticking out so and you'll see why I said why I'm gonna why I curve them and get them to curve so that the our not petals it's not a flower <laughs> so that our our pinwheel spots. Not sure what they're called, but if anybody knows, put the comment down below. So um, our curved parts, I'll call them petals, are actually curving over nicely. And we have the flower in the middle, or you can leave it out. I'm going to show it with, it with it. And I want the good stitching or our good side of our snap tab also hanging out. So and then I'm going to add that to the back. So you need to position it the way you want to keep it. This 
being smushed all together will not spin, will not turn. So you, well, however you want that snap tab positioned, you don't, if you want it, you know, with, with one of your loops there, or if you want it in the center of, of the loops, it's up to you. This is where you need to determine where you want that position. So everything is pushed in. I have a little bit on the back hanging out. I'm pushing. I'm gonna take my cap and go ahead and snap the little cap on. You'll feel it. Kind of push it in there and it's pretty well there. It's not finished since I've put that on there. It's kind of there, but it's not finished. You do need to hammer it or use your press. I do suggest that if you have a press, use the press. But we're gonna go ahead and try this. We're gonna center it on our button part and you'll feel it drop, you'll kind of feel it set into, you wanna make sure it's set in there. You don't want it to be crooked or sideways. If it hits sideways, you're gonna get a dent in there. And you wanna make sure this one's centered right on top. And we're gonna do a really good hammer. You gotta hammer it pretty well, especially on the long ones. Okay, so here we go. Sorry about that, but that went well. And there we go. Smashed in and it's holding. A little bit of a spin there because it's kind of long. And now we're going to add our snap tab on this one. So I'm going to mark my holes, but I'm going to show you the other one first before I finish this one. So I'm just going to make my holes and be ready. So on this one, if you don't have the longs, this is another option you can do if you happen to have only a two set, because this, this set that I purchased here only had two sizes. The other sets have three sizes, so you really want to make sure and check the sizes of the rivets that come in your set. This one only had two sizes for this pack. So with the two sizes, I'm going to take one of the smalls and I'm going to take one of the mediums. Okay, so with the small, I'm going to start, um, and I'm actually going to use the one that came in here. So here we go. This is the die that came with it. So on this one here, same thing, work it to make it go round. We're going to work it. And I'm going to start with my center, and I'm going to go ahead and use the flower. I'm going to take my small rivet and put it in the middle. Go back, and I'm going to go through there through the middle of our, and we want to make sure this is the wrong side because as we curve in, we're going to have our good stitches. And then I'm going to take my snap tab portion and I'm going to kind of line it up in the center and put the little button on it, our second cap on the back. And I'm going to set this one, and this one comes with the two sizes. So this is the small. So I'm going to go ahead and set this one Okay, so that one's set. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our medium size one and I'm going to work it backwards. I'm going to actually have it so the button's going to end up on the other side. So this is going to be a little bit easier for me to put them all in this way. Okay. And you'll see it's really tight. Sorry, a little off screen. Sorry about that. Keep an eye what I'm doing. And you have just enough hanging over, you're gonna take that cap, cap it off. So this one's ready. And I'm going to hammer that piece in there. So what I'm gonna do is take my double side one, and this is the small, and then I'm gonna slide it in there. And I'm gonna make sure it's seated right in the center of that small, the little piece. So you can see it, the little, that divot, it's going to go right in that divot there. That way it's not going to smash it. And then I'm going to take this one and push it down into and seat it inside. It's seated in there. And then I'm going to take my punch part tool and I'm going to do the same thing. And on this one, make sure it's set. Hammer it a few to make sure. Pop that out. And this is the five point. I think the five point is cute being separated like this. Or you have it all pushed in together like this one. This is with the long. And this is if you don't have the long and you're working with the small and medium, this is the other option you can do. And now I'm gonna go ahead 
and finish it by putting my snap tabs on. So I got a little off there. And this one, doing it this way, has a little bit of play in there because that small uh, rivet doesn't completely close. So it gives it a little bit of room so you can play with this one. And we're going to go ahead. Um, I have, I'll finish off this one here that we've been all the way through. I, sorry, I only grabbed one snap tab. So that's our uh, snap set. And we're going to push them all the way really good. I'm going to, I always have the female at our receiving end, female at the bottom, female on the main project. And I'm going to go ahead and use my hand tool, my handset. I'm going to set it in there. Really good. And I have to use the table for leverage because my wrist is not good. So I set it on the edge of the table. So the table's here. I put the handle on the edge of the table and I give leverage and I push down with my little, little extra push with the body. And then I use my mail up at the top part, the tab part, the end part. That's where I have my mail part. All righty. We're all good on that. Let's see if I can get a, a ring in here. Snaps. And there we go. That's the finished one. All in one. And then we also have the one that we've used a small and a medium since we didn't have. And that small and medium one, I tried it on the other one. It did not look good on a four point. I think the small and medium works the best on the five point pinwheel. So there we go. If you enjoyed my video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. That way you'll get uh, notifications when I have more awesome videos for you. And remember, I have all these different um, vinyls and types of vinyls. Any questions, have them down below for me. I will answer them for you. Um, like I said, I don't use just one vinyl company. I use many vinyl companies. And um, like this hollow rainbow came from My Punk Broidery. I've got Glitterbug Fairy, Micri World, Dazzle Town, TC Craft Lady, Embroidery Bows, Vinyls and More, The Vinyl Vault, uh, or the Vinyl Nest, and New Moon Vinyls, I think, or New Moon Designs, I'm not 100% sure. But I can put some in, uh, down in the descriptions if you'd like, or ask me in the questions, and I'll answer you on all the different vinyls. So let me scoot them in here and show you all these little awesome colors. If you have a, uh, need a link for the rivets, go ahead and ask me. And these are all the different colors, and all the different wonderful, awesome pinwheels. So thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. Meet you at the cutting table.